All I know is that it's real, and I'm fucking terrified. What is up, everybody? Back here again. It is I, the Hidden Hand, responsible for everything that's going on in Fromland. How did y'all like episode seven? I thought it was better than episode six. I'm jumping out the window. It was better than episode six. I'll I'll give my reasons why in just a second. But this episode right here had a couple things to unpack here. Uh, Tabitha finally says something just like last week Boyd finally says something Tabitha finally says something it's like pulling teeth pulling teeth to get these people to communicate uh Tabitha and Jade uh they have a pretty interesting discussion um the mole theory is now concrete it's not just talk amongst the community we had that dialogue between Jim and Randall there's definitely a mole in the mist gonna be talking about that uh also um ethan and victor make up sort of i guess <laughs> and of course the autopsy the belly of the beast i think that's what this episode was talking about maybe a little double entendre you know uh somebody else might be the beast uh <coughs> fatima but anyway guys all this and more in this jam-packed episode review of From Episode 7. Got your attention? Got it? Good. Let's get into it, y'all. All I know is that it's real, and I'm fucking terrified. Let's get into it. Y'all like my new boat horn? <laughs> I, I felt like it fit with the theme of the show, of course. Um, I wonder when we're going to hear that boat horn again uh, that we heard in season one. You know, I, I thought to add that to the uh, sound bites right there. Um, I don't have any um, Boyd isms, new Boyd isms today, uh, but everybody seem to use the line i'm terrified i've heard like two or three people say that in this episode so of course this fits for today all i know is that it's real and i'm fucking, fucking terrified. terrified right all right okay okay uh of course if you haven't already make sure to slap that like button <laughs> now that you have slapped the like and subscribe button Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's get into uh, today's headlines here. Um, let's start with who wants to see a dead body? You want to see a dead body? That's I was thinking about uh, boys from the hood. That's what this scene reminded me of. Them just standing over the uh, the monster's body who is not um, – alive I, I said he was going to be humanized that's out the window so I, I wanted <laughs> maybe him to come back to his original self or something like that that would have been nice to see him just wake up in human form or something like that but uh that's out the window but it looks like smiley is dead i i guess <laughs> at least <laughs> man the, the jump scares on here uh at least that one and at the end with the uh, um, I guess the dead figure or whoever that was that was trying to drown um, Elgin when he was trying to remember uh, whatever he was supposed to remember or whatever. Uh, great jump scares. <laughs> they they got me on the autopsy. Scene. They got me. <laughs> I jumped out of my seat on that one. Uh, man, I thought somebody was dead. And then they were uh, like uh, the camera was closing in like on the nails. I thought like the nails were going to grow and like he was going to. I don't know, you know, I, I was kind of scared for him, but um, yeah, somebody had to uh, sacrifice so we can find a way to beat these monsters. So I'm going to be talking uh, about that a little bit later on uh, towards the end here. Um, as far as, you know, Kenny being against, you know, opening this monster up. So basically that's what was happening in the beginning scene here. Uh, we had, um, of course, Christy, uh, uh, Ellis, and Fa Fatima. You know, I got to uh, be hooked on Fonis when I say her name so I can see it right. Uh, so we get those uh, four right here. Of course, Boyd and Christy want to take him inside, and um, Kenny's against it. Um, I, I feel like Kenny was 
right in some ways. He just went about this the whole way. Kenny was a bitch in this episode. Uh, but yeah, I, I get to, I'll get to that a little bit later, but that's where we are as far as the start of the episode. And, um, also one thing that got on my nerves, uh, let's go ahead and hate on this episode right here. Here's one thing that I do hate. Let's keep some more secrets. Oh, the, uh, Ellis go back to, uh, you know, colony house, but don't tell anybody we killed the monster. Why? <laughs> Let them know. I'm like, <laughs> If if you want to ease everybody's minds, it, it give everybody, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's look, decrease everybody's blood pressure right now. You know what I'm saying? Give them some good news. Hey, we found out how to kill a monster. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I guess, you know, whatever. They have their reasons uh, for not wanting to, you know, give this information out at the moment. But I think some people like i said before there are some groups of people that need to know this information uh maybe like donna will <laughs> i'm gonna talk about donna in a bit man um i'm talking about the mole theory today i have i have the mole theory and the loop theory i'm gonna talk about both of those theories uh tonight so uh yeah so that's where we are at the beginning of the show here um, next question I have, it's going to be real quick, but will Dale go in the box? <laughs> um, I'm very interested to see what happens when Boyd, hopefully they make this happen. Um, I'm, I know if somebody stabbed my son, it's on site, right? <laughs> so I think there's going to be a meeting between Boyd and Dale. And of course, Boyd doesn't like throwing people in the box anyway, uh, so I, I, I don't think he's going to go in the box. Um, uh, maybe they, they might put him on the bus with, uh, Randall or whatever, but yeah. Uh, Dale, somebody need to get Dale out of here. I'm, I'm tired of Dale. <laughs> he needs to die. But, uh, speaking of Randall, let's talk about Jim Randall and the mole theory it is not just talk amongst the youtube from community right it, you know of course one of the i guess the creators or producers said there's a mole and then everybody ran off with that but now with the dialogue that happened between randall and jim you know i they're definitely pounding that idea that somebody in is in on this experiment because jim of course he's going off about how this is um you know an experiment this is what they this is what they want him to say or <laughs> want you to believe or whatever um and he ethan was trying to go over to see victor and then of course um jim he wasn't down for it because he thinks he, he might be up he thinks everybody's a part of the experiment now so uh but yeah jim randall they talk and uh randall brings up the um uh, the idea that somebody has to be in on this i at this point, I think there are multiple people that could be moles. It doesn't have to just be one person. So uh, before I get into that, uh, they have this idea of um, with the drone or whatever. Uh, Randall has a drone, so he's going to attach the antenna to that uh, to get the radio signal back working. We tried this before, man. <laughs> I've already told this man about flying too close to the sun here. Uh, so yeah, Jim is going to be real tempting to get that radio working. Uh, we'll see what happens this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, the mole theory, I have a couple of candidates here, man. Of course, um, I gotta go with Tilly. Um, just because she seems to be everywhere at the right time and know everything. And also the morphine which I'll talk about when I get to Mary Ellen, but uh, Tilly is one of them. Uh, Donna. Donna is looking like the mole every episode. Uh, last episode when she was talking to um, Ethan about how, you know, fear isn't bad. If it, <laughs> Why would you want to help induce fear, right? That's, a, that's something the mole would say, right? To help induce fear, right? Fear isn't bad. And then... Uh, this episode right here when she was talking to Fatima 
Uh, she's very optimistic and stuff about the, you know, the baby. Of course, she would want uh, Fatima to have the baby, right? Because Fatima might be the beast. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, Donna. Um, of course, Dale m might be a candidate as well. You know, he's been uh, causing a lot of ruckus and fear amongst the people. Uh, he wants to get the new folks up out of here. And, you know, he stabbed Ellis or whatever um, unknowingly by accident. Or, you know, maybe he was playing coy. Who knows? <laughs> um, anybody else I feel may be the mole. Um, I've heard Victor. I don't think it's Victor, though. Um some people are saying Fatima can be a mo as well. So, I mean, but th those those are my top three right there. And then my my fun uh, pick is the girl with the glass in her eye. <laughs> Nobody would suspect her, right? Um, let's move on to Victor and Ethan. Uh, Victor forgives Ethan, sort of. I think. <laughs> I don't know what kind of apology that was with the, you know, the whole uh, your orange marker was dry or something like that. So uh, pretty much Ethan goes to um, see Victor, you know, Victor and Ethan go out to measure trees because the trees are moving and all this stuff like that. So the whole things are changing. Uh, the trees never have, um, I guess, changed colors as far as the leaves. So uh, that's, one thing that you know to look out for and uh something is coming uh probably in episode nine or ten but something is coming uh we've heard you know uh they could they could be flooding the place or um you know whatever could happen i don't know but uh the flood the flood theory seems I, i'm i'm gonna go with that flood theory i think that's what's gonna happen too um all right next up I see music boxes in uh, my six element. I see music boxes, right? Uh, so, yeah, Mariel and um, Elgin both saw the music box in this episode. I thought, I think Elgin is just like, because he's kind of connected to this place somewhat. Um, he's special. I, I think that's kind of the reason he saw the boxes, but I think, Mariel has been infected with the worm somehow because that's the first thing that popped in my mind when she saw that music box. I'm like, did, she, did the worms transfer her, transfer to her, or something like that? But then uh, go, let's go back to that mold theory. I said I was going to talk about this. Tilly, right? She came with that morphine. What if that morphine was laced with something? I don't know. <laughs> Some a very minuscule parasite. Who knows? I don't know. But it's some way somehow she now she's seeing this box you know um because to my knowledge nobody has told her about you know the music box or you know um of course you know she saw the monster and all that stuff like that but um uh, but yeah she had this dream and and at first um it seemed kind of real i'm like a oh, smile is back <laughs> but of course uh it ended up being a dream but you know that Music box is gonna be haunting her now, so I got, we gonna see what's up with uh, uh, old junkie here, Mary Ells. But she sees music boxes, and uh, I'll talk about Elgin a little bit later. I'm gonna save Elgin um, towards the end here. Show me yours, and I'll show you mine. Uh, let's talk about Tabitha and Jade, right? Um, of course, uh, Jade and Tabitha are in the bar i guess jade seems to have taken over uh tom's place as the bartender or whatever um but they get to talking about what they've seen um and tabitha asks jade you know why he wasn't surprised when he saw her in the force you know doing ah, 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 all that and uh so yeah so basically he says he sees visions too um a you know, when he saw the Confederate dude or whatever, the Civil War guy. Um, so that and then it got to Tabitha kind of. She didn't necessarily 
willingly give this information as far as the signs. She just happened to see the signs and it, she kind of blurted it out. But like I said, it's like, uh, you know, um, I, I forgot the term I'm trying to use, but, you know, very hard to get information out of her. <laughs> so, so finally, she says something, but uh, that pretty much ends it from there. So hopefully next episode we get them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go to the tunnels. They they might try to uh, stretch that out to next season, maybe. Or they'll go maybe episode, knowing this series, episode 10, they'll finally decide to go down in the, the tunnels or whatever. But, you know, she finally told Jade about the tunnels. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for them to get to the bottom of this, this sign. What does this sign mean? We need to know already, right? Um. But other than that, that's pretty much it on that section. Uh, getting towards the end here. Belly of the Beast. But which one? <laughs> this episode. Uh, I thought it was a, a a great double entendre here. You know, we could be talking about the Beast as far as the monster, Smiley. You know, them doing the autopsy. Or we could be talking about fatima is is she a beast in disguise is she is she hiding the demon seed in her stomach right um let's talk about this autopsy first okay so like i said <laughs> great jump scare scared the crap out of me when she cut into the monster christy that is and uh i guess let's start with that that conversation that uh christy and Kenny had Ken Kenny was being a bitch in this episode. I did understand him being cautious and not wanting to open up the monster or bringing the monster inside or whatever. But it's like this is your only chance to s see how to defeat these things. And I'm like, <laughs> we you got to sacrifice here, man. We know it's stage, but we got to sacrifice, right? You got to do something a little bit different. Burn the body wouldn't have done anything. You know, um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of get Kenny's point, but he, he just went about it the wrong way. And I'm like, hold on, man. Let me, let me get into my, my talk camera. Kenny, let me talk to you, man. Kenny. Don't fuck this up, man. You, that's your girl, man. That's your girl, man. Look, Mariel, she's going to slip up. She's, she's a junkie. She's a fucking junkie. Let her hang herself. She's going to be up out of here. And then, you know, you can slide in and Chris is going to be there for you. But, you know, just play it cool, man. Just play it cool, man. You, you, you know, you're getting in your feelings. Um, talking about, I want you to be happy. I love you. Now we're, we can't, we're not together anymore and all that stuff like that. Just play it cool, man. Okay. Kenny, I want you to win, but you was acting like bitch in this episode, man. <laughs> And then uh, at the end of the episode, uh, he's, uh, Boy was like, you can have your badge back. And he's he trying to act like he didn't want his badge back. But I, I think he's going to take the badge back. But anyway, <laughs> um, anything else as far as the autopsy is concerned? Um, of course, you know, uh, Christy got mad when she found out there was no blood in the, you know, the body or whatever, no fluids or whatever. Where did the worms go? They didn't check the head. <laughs> That's the only thing they didn't check. Um, unless it's down in the, the legs or something. I don't know. The the worms had to go somewhere. So um, that, that's 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 the one thing that's uh, got me intrigued. Where the hell did those worms go to? Um, but yeah, so what they did wind up finding was some bile i don't know what that's gonna do uh what they're just gonna take the bottle and go up to the mouse the power of christ compels you or something like that i don't know <laughs> but um yes I, there's really nothing much else i can say i don't know what they're gonna do with some bile I, this very small jar of bile by the way uh so like i said i i have no way of predicting this um Let's talk about uh, Fatima. Uh, I, th I think I pretty much said everything I need to say about the autopsy, right? You know, they got the bow. It's gonna, they're going to weaponize it somehow. Um, but where are the worms, you know? I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the other beast here, Fatima. She's uh, pregnant here, but she can't 
She's not able to be pregnant. She's not supposed to be pregnant. So that's what is scaring her. Um, so is this is this this thing that is growing inside her? Um, I mean, will it bring the downfall of Fromland? Um, will the the pregnancy accelerate? You know, people heal fast, so this pregnancy might be a fast pregnancy. You know, uh, and then you know the. The seasons are changing, I guess you could say, you know, um, so things like that. Um, but I just I just don't know. I don't I really don't know. Uh, but it seems to be kind of a bad omen surrounding this whole pregnancy thing. And maybe there's some deep rooted reason why she is uh, upset that, you know, she's pregnant or she's scared that she's pregnant. Um, but yeah, anyway, one more thing to talk about. Let's talk about the ending of, um, episode seven here, Elgin and the loop theory. Let's, let's talk about this. Uh, this place is literally a manifestation of a loop. You go around and you go around and you go around. So. This whole thing is a loop. All of them have been here before. Um, let me look to the ancestors real quick uh, from Lost, right? Uh, Y'all remember the line, whatever happened, happened. For those of you who watch Lost, it's something like that, you know, with the whole um, time travel thing. Uh, whatever happened, always happened. You know what I'm saying? So all this has happened before, and Elgin needs to remember he's supposed to remember something so he's been here before and that scene at the ending uh in the bathtub with him you know having i guess some type of vision or something like that i do believe that was fatima you know with the clothing um on that you know monster figure or whatever and she seems to be drowning him so the whole flood theory again right so I, I think all of these people are going to drown or they did drown before already. And it's going to happen again. And that's what Elgin is supposed to remember. So, yeah, th uh, that's what I think is going to happen here. But um, anyway, guys, that that's pretty much it for uh, this edition of episode seven of from Y'all let me know y'all thoughts, theories down below. If you haven't already, make sure to slap that like button. <laughs> Thank you for slapping that like button, man. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.